Hey guys, uh, in today's session, I want to do some refactoring and um, fix some incorrect code that we might have. So let's get started. Um, so we've got the simple HTTP module. It has a request struct, which is going to store a few things like the URI method headers and body. Um, headers should ideally be um, a list, um, uh, actually a prop list, because you know you could have the same header multiple times. So uh, that's one thing that we want to change. So let's change it here and here. And um, response headers are also going to be in a similar fashion. So we'll change that. Got status code body. Uh, we've got the CRLF HTTP version. Um, all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, well, we've got the host header. We've got the space. Okay, so let's. Okay, so let's see. We're printing some debug statements. We're uh, connecting to the port. Um, we could put these in. Um, uh, you know the the default options and something, um, but that's okay for now. Got the request URI. We got the request packet. So the request packet is being constructed here. We could potentially move this to its own function. So let's do that. Right. So I'll say request packet takes a request. And what it's going to do is uh, it's going to build a request and defp request packet uh, takes a request and uh, returns it. Right. So all good. Uh, uh, we're not using the URI there. But that's OK. Let's go there and uh, request packet and put the URI here. That's good. And uh, we've got some debugging info here, which we'll remove. Uh, we've got set ops, we're making a connection, and uh, we've got some parsing here. Mm, okay, okay. So we're, we're uh, receiving a packet. So we're receiving a packet here, we're receiving it again here. And finally, we're receiving it here. Okay, so let's see how we can, you know, clean this up a little. Um, so what we can do is, uh, you know, <clears throat> one way of doing this is we could say um, we have a read header function, right? So read header, um, read header. Well, yeah. So read header is a function which uh, uses uh, this, well, uh, you know what, let's say read line. So I'm just going to say read line. So read line is a function uh, which uh, actually read, read um, socket or read connection. Um, so we'll just say connection read. And it's a function, let's say it takes the number of characters we want to read. Um, so uh, length, we'll just say length. Uh, let's not, uh, yeah, so length. And it. Uh, what it does is it just runs this guy. And oh, by the way, we also have the thousand, which is like littered all over the code. So I want to I wanna extract that into a module attribute too. So. I'll say um, receive timeout is thousand, right? So I'll just say thousand everywhere. We'll replace it with the receive timeout, um, and uh, well, it did it even here. So we'll fix that, and we can make it. Uh, we can allow the user to pass it in, but for now, this is good. Uh, we've got this function which takes the length and um, we can pass that along. That's good. And then here we are reading a line, right? So we could move this and the headers. So again, you know, essentially 
this is the same as reading a line here, right? So we'll say uh, connection read, and we want to read everything available till the new line, right? Um, and if you don't do it here, it's going to be part of these lines, right? So here we, you know, the 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 response structure. Actually, it might be a good idea to document that here, right? So the response structure is going to be HTTP 1.1 space 200 OK. OK, ah, come on, OK, slash R slash N, and then content type colon uh, text HTML, and so on and so forth, right? So that's going to be the, um, the structure. So the first line is the status line. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say, I'm going to expect multiple lines here. And the first line is going to be the status line. Um, and from there onwards, it's going to be the headers. And you know, just to avoid confusion, we'll say these are lines. Um, and that looks good. That looks good. Oh, okay, so we can't do this because um, because that needs to be done on headers, right? So headers, I would say header lines, um, header, header lines. And that's going to give us the headers. So I'll say headers and uh, we won't do an enum into, this is fine. Um, and then the star, the status line, we can parse it, right? So we'll say, um, we've got the status line there. So we can move this guy into its own function, right? So we'll say, we have a function called status line, which takes something and uh, uses this pattern to match it. Um, so going to go to the end and uh, what this guy's gonna return is this guy's gonna return string to integer uh, status code string, right? That's good. Uh, and this guy can be um, the version, right? So we already have the version on the top. Uh, version space, uh, all good, right? uh what's missing here what's missing here um function status line is unused okay so we got to use it to use it we could just say uh over here um status line eh, parse okay so we'll use parse status line so status line parse status uh code it's not really parsing status line we're sending the status line, but we're uh, parsing the status code. Uh, parse status code, right? So uh, looks good. Um, looks good. Now this is not going to work, right? Headers content length is not going to work because now headers is um, prop list kind of thing, right? So um, list has list should have a function to find the um, key find um, so it's key find list key position and default right so this is actually good so if you've got the list of headers uh, we know what the key is and we know the position is the uh, is, is the zero width element and default will default it, default that to something right so um, headers is the list and uh, that's the key actually I oh, mean, uh, key find headers list uh, uh, key and then position and then the default. So I'll say default to zero, right? And now we'll convert that. So um, uh, we can actually just pipe this thing. Um, so we'll say take the headers um, and uh, pipe this into that. Okay, all good. So we got the content length and we read the content length and uh, instead of doing this again 
we could just say, um, what are we going to say? Connection read uh, content length, right? All good. Uh, let's let's try it out. Yeah, uh, this this reads better than before. Uh, we'll uh, open an IEX mix and uh, oh, request new is undefined. Uh, oh, we haven't aliased it uh, properly. So IEX.exs uh, alias simple HTTP request and response. So let's do that. Um, we'll restart this thing and uh, first argument is a not a binary what binary to integer oh so let's start. so this is on line number 59 which we changed uh, so it looks like looks like um, our um, list find gives us the whole tuple so here this guy gives us the name of the key and why would we need that well it's okay it gives the name of the key and then the value of the key right so um run the whole thing again what we didn't save it we saved it oh, 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 oh. so we're not doing yeah so we're doing the string to integer here so We'll, we'll just do content length equal to content length. That's okay. That's okay. Um, so we're sending a head request, are we? Oh, let's not send a head request. Because yesterday we found my server doesn't, yeah, isn't happy about head requests. So we got the uh, letters. Um, we could hit example.com let's do that right so example.com um, gives us all the info we need um, oh we could even hit it with um, with a header where we say give us content um, we could say give me um, give me text plain um, let's see if it respects that uh, it doesn't respect that maybe because we are not even sending it so let's see are we doing anything with our headers so we got our headers um, and we're not so this is the response parser right um, the request headers we're not using it to build our uh, build our um, request packet so that's bad so we built the first line. The first line is good. Uh, the second line is a host, which is also good. And then we got the request content length header. And then we need more headers, right? So we'll just say um, for request dot um, for header in. Is it in or less than? Um, request dot headers to uh, do what do we need we need um, so header has a key and value right so key and value and uh, what are we going to do we're going to uh, we're going to make a shape which looks like this right so just get that guy in here and say instead of host we're gonna have the key and uh, this okay um, means make this um, Okay, let me, yeah, so uh, we got the key, we got the colon, we got the sp space, and then we got the value, and um, that's good, right? Is it that good? Yeah, that's good. Why is this guy complaining? Oh, this uh, comma missing there, okay? So, uh, looks good, looks good. Let's um, Let's run this. Um, so text to plane. So I want to see the packet that's being sent. So request packet. Let's just do an IO inspect here. So I'll say IO inspect label is request. I'll do this again. 
and we'll we see that it's actually so let's look at the request it's get slash get space slash space http 1.1 uh, slash r slash n host colon yeah and then we have an empty uh, 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 list which is like it's nothing and we have an accept header which says text plane so this is actually good this is actually good but um, it isn't uh, working because maybe example.com doesn't know how to render text is there any other site that knows how to render text I don't know but so this guy is actually sending the right headers so that's a good thing right and the response also has the headers in the proper shape yeah and the body is also good so we've done some refactoring it's all it looks good uh and i'm happy with all of this but there's one thing which is kind of repeated everywhere which is the shape of the header right so uh we could do a uh, request header and uh, request header could be um it takes a key takes a value and returns the shape of the request header right which is this guy right so this guy so we'll do this and uh, here we'll say what so that's the request line we need that and then here we'll say request header um and the first uh so the, va the key is host the value is uri dot host right but i want to create this shape every time uh, well, we could do this. This, this. There's a bunch of ways to do this, so I'm happy with this. Um, so we need to fix this uh, key, uh, key, and then this needs to be the value. Uh, we'll just make this a bit compact. Uh, that's the request header, and then we've got request headers here. Um, so I'll say uh, request header and uh, k we and then request content length header uh, so this guy if that's there then what this guy is going to do is oh that's not yeah so what this guy is going to do is it's going to say request header um and uh that's the that's the type and uh that's that's the key and um uh, Oh boy, uh, that's the value, yeah. And I'll just get rid of all of that. So, oh, uh, looks good, looks good. Um, and uh, this needs to be a FP, and uh, this needs to be a list, an IO list. Uh, and we can get rid of the extra comma there, but that looks good. Um, yeah, I'll just run it through the format. Uh, and uh, now um, this looks much better. I'm re um, yeah, I'm, I'm much happier with this. Uh, and let's see if it still works. Uh, it still works. So that's awesome. So uh, real quick, I'm going to next format. And uh, oh, we don't have diffs. That's a shame. Um, uh, but let's quickly see what we did we changed the headers from a map to uh, a list we and then we changed the headers here from a map to a list too we added the receive timeout as a module attribute um, we created uh, we moved the request packet building function you know, code into its own function um, and then we created a, a, a an anonymous function a lambda which knows how to read from the connection uh, uh, as many bytes as you want and we used it and then we removed some so again you know here what we did was we removed special specialization and used generalization which essentially means you know instead of reading status line and header line separately we're reading it with the same code so that's better mm. and uh and then you know we're just um 
we're parsing it differently because the shape of the status line and the header lines is different. Um, that's good. Uh, so the parsing hasn't changed much. Uh, and then we are uh, content length since we, it's not a map anymore. We're doing it a bit differently. Um, and uh, what else? What else? What else? Yeah. And then, and then parsing of status code is happening in another function. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm happy with how this turned out. Uh, and then we have um, the packet building has uh, is using a function called request header uh, to build the packets. So you know, we, there's there's a bunch of ways we could have done this. One, um, instead of building these pa you know headers one by one, um, so. All the stuff from over here, no, not here, yeah, from here to all the way, what? Yeah, actually, yeah, just just this much is the headers, right? So we could actually have done a better job here. So let's do it, right? So we'll say headers equals to, um, headers equals to, uh, well, you know, so again, you know, I'll, I'll just give you guys a hint of what to do, right? So you can move all of these into a uh, headers uh, list and then just loop through and, and you know, spit out the actual headers. Um, but you know, this is good too. It's, it's not, it's not that bad. Um, all right. So I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna end that, uh, end the session here. Um, Tomorrow, I want to build an actual HTTP server um, using GenTCP, which our simple HTTP client can talk to, or, you know, which even a browser can talk to. So that's going to be interesting, all right? So till then, have a good night, guys.